Hi everyone, this is Kayla Carver from cleverpacks.co.uk and I'm bringing a very little box that is actually an inspiration because I was just doing some research before and I realized that today was Chinese New Year. But these people know how to party. They have a whole month worth of celebrations for the, the New Year. And this year is uh, the year of the rooster, 2017. I don't understand anything about what it is, but I find so beautiful everything that they do and all the luxury and all the gold and the reds, the rich reds they have. And I was inspired to get this little box because we're having a dinner party with a the theme of Chinese New Year tomorrow. And that's exactly why I needed this box. <laughs> I'm gonna put one for each of my of my guests. And this box was inspired by um, a box that I received on our stumping up uh, on stage, which is the, the time that we get all together with other demonstrators and we exchange boxes and cards for inspiration. And I found this box absolutely adorable because it has a, a lid that swings open, yeah. Uh, it does goes like that. The original box that I had had the two, so it, both sides were open. But I wanted you guys to see what was inside uh, straight on. So I used window uh, sheet uh, to actually com complement to finish up the the lid. So you, the, whatever is inside, if you decide to do with something small, it won't fall out. My choice was Safihiro Hoshi because it was one of is one of the favorites around. And I've used this sequin uh, ribbon, if we call that that. Um, let me show you guys. It comes like this. Yeah. So it's a gold second trim. So it's not a, gold, a ribbon. To be the one, the one thing that will close our lid so it doesn't open easily. Um, so it's just a little wrap that will go around. Doesn't have to be tight, it's just a matter of just holding the, the, the box all together. Yeah, so it is a bit tricky to get this lid on, um, but I will give you all the measurements. And what I did, I used the trimmer as my scoring board because of the work that we're gonna have to do on the gold one. So let me put to the side and get the two pieces that we're gonna need for the lid. I've already cut the window sheet. So let me see if we can, is it better to see here? So the window sheet is um, one and a half by one and a half inches. Okay. Let me just get this, which is, I measure everything else but this. Let me just get the right measurements because then it will bug me not knowing. So it's 3.8. One and a half inches, 3.8 centimeters. So this is one and a half by one and a half, which is 3.8 by 3.8 centimeters. I'm going to put it on the side because I've lost so many times this little piece. It's just a, an easy thing to do. The base of the box, I'm doing in rich red and this rich red, which is real red. And... We're going to score this piece of uh, cardstock is four and a half by four and a half inches, which is 11.3 by 11.3. And we're going to score one and a half inches on all four sides. Okay, so we just needed to, we're going to get the basic. It's just a basic box. What is pretty in, it makes the whole difference on this box is the lead. It swings open. So now our piece of uh, gold foil sheet is two and one eighth of an inch by three and one eighth of an inch. So it's 5.3 centimeters by eight centimeters. And we're gonna score at one inch. I use normally the right side when I'm doing a small um, measurement. Okay, so one inch is two and a half centimeters. So now you end up with a square and a rectangle. We're gonna turn around 
and score halfway into the rectangle just half just make a notch on the top bit which is one inch and sixteenth that's why we're using this the trimmer because it's easier to actually get smaller measurements than one eighth increments that we have in the scoreboard that we normally use so now i want to cut from the notch to the first score which is one inch i want to just align to this gut to the gutter here and cut and i'm going to do the same on the other side so we end up with two small triangles okay so here we are so i have that the following part is what will make the the lead swing the way it does so i'm going to put the blades away and get it down and score on the diagonal side of it now from the score line to the corner of the square and when you're looking at this now you have one, two, three, four, five triangles. Yeah. I want you to hold the the point the the, the small triangle that we made a notch, which is the half the half lead part. And I want you to cut on this line all the way to the middle, just on the left side. So on your left side, we're gonna grab our snippet and just come and cut just up to the score line yeah so which is right in the middle I'm gonna put my scoreboard away we don't need it anymore and we're gonna fold and burnish each of them let me just get my let's fold and burnish the golden foil sheets are they mark easily, but they score, they score quite nicely. So you, it's, it's a thicker paper, so you you do need to come and apply a little bit of force when you're doing this one. As you see, now you have all the all the parts cut and and, and scored, and we need to glue. We're gonna add add. Uh, oh jeez. <laughs> We're going to add glue to this area here and I'm choosing to use the Tombow glue, which is a liquid glue. And you're going to have to let it on the side for a while to dry. So that's why I'm doing this right now. So we want to add this here. Okay, so this is our corner lead. And you only add glue to this side, to this side here. What I'm going to do here, and I'm just going to get, I have a massive pin. And I just wanted to add it here to see if it was it's going to, it's too big. I'm going to get a paper clip and, and leave it here while it's drying. Okay? It's just because I don't have to be holding this while we're doing I can continue with the tutorial and here we go I just needed to fold and burnish these sides as well the four sides this was the one and a half inches that we we actually scored before now this part this box is quite a small box and I don't want to add bulk amount of paper when we actually put it together so what I'm gonna do I'm going to cut and notch inside of the corners but i'm also taking a massive amount of it i'm just leaving enough of a lip for me to add glue to it okay and i'm gonna turn around and do it again so i can distribute the amount of paper that goes when the box is ready for every single for every single tab there is a corner okay so this is one I will turn around again, turning 90 degrees, knotting and cutting off. And again, to the last one, I cut and then knot on both sides and remove the excess. 
So now I have a lot of little bits here. But can you see that all, every single part of this box has a tab to glue on the next side? And I'm going to use Fast Fuse for this one. Let me just clear this out. And I'm using Fast Fuse for all four tabs. a little bit of glue glued on the bottom and here we are so now I have fast fuse on all four sides the only thing that I need is to align the flat with the with the fold and all four sides of it and then I will have the box ready Okay, here we are, and now our lid is being glued. I'm gonna just take the paper clip and come back here so I can show you how does it go here. Okay, so this is the lid. I think I have a little bit of glue spilled here, which I can gently rub. Don't try to force, otherwise you leave a lot of marks in the gold foil. And now what we need to do is to glue the lid to the box because it's hinged into it. Okay? Just before, I'm going to add glue just to this triangle, which was the one that we had the notch before when we started. So only this triangle will have some glue. And I'm going to go again with the tumble. I'm going to get the lid right in place, then fold it back. So now it's in, in the right place and we know that the box will close the way it needs to be. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to get showing you the label that we created for it. And I will show you how that I do uh, to also get the trim, the sequin trim, uh, secure in place so I can take it uh, away without destroying the box. I'm just going to put the box away so it just finishes gluing. And what I did, I've used the one inch punch and I punched two red, um, real red circles. Okay. And I did emboss heat emboss in gold this um, enjoy from ready to pop I love this set I keep coming back to it because it's so cute um, and it's such a small uh, sentiment as well I can actually punch out of little shapes so this one is actually when it's ready it's just uh, uh, bigger than three quarters of an inch but I want to leave the border the white border so this is whisper white and I'm going to punch. So what, now I have three one inch circles that will hold the the trim and the box closed. What are we going to do? We just need a little, let me just use this one as our measurement. I didn't measure this. I just took it in, but when it, when it fell right, it fell right. Let me just get this and I will measure to give you guys. So this one is about 11 and a half inches and 29 centimeters, 29.2 centimeters, and if I'm not wrong, because I did something before. So here we have um, all the bits that you needed to put it together. What I find out is that if I put too tight, it start distorting the box so now I'm gonna get the window sheet and get the box back so here's our box is glued and it's ready to be filled so now I wanted to actually add the window sheet here window sheet doesn't do very well with different types of glue it slides and marks so I'm gonna use the glue dots the mini glue dots so we needed to get in one corner and on the same side that you're going to add the corner 
you can't go all the way to the corner otherwise you can see it but you can actually pull slightly to inside on on both uh, sides so you don't go all the way to the edge you just pull it right here um so it, i can't see when i'm looking at the box so now i wanted this to fit inside of it what i do i just get this little corner here and pressure so three glue dots is enough to hold the lid in place okay here I don't know, something is holding back. Oh yeah, yeah. Now we have. Now what I need is just to get this in place. I just want to mark where it is that I wanted to hold to. And I'm gonna add glue on both sides so I can actually place where I want. I'm gonna use fast fuse because with the sequin, the sequin, <laughs> it won't stay in the place that I wanted for for a long time. If I wanted to, to to set the glue, let me just get this here. See, I, this way I'm, I was able to mark. Oops, to mark where I wanted to go. Because I want the first one to actually come and secure it so it won't move at all. It has to be easy to make, especially if you're making quite a few for a celebration or if you're going to decide to do this as a wedding. It's a very nice box, but it will give you a lot of grief if you're trying to, to fit sequins on it. Okay, now that the box is ready... We're going to add this wrap around and that will hold the, the box closed. It's going to be tight, but not too tight, remember, because we don't want it to be uh, bulging the, the box. And here we have, it's ready. So that's it. That's our little treats to go in our table tomorrow i have too much to make it because i need four of those and i will hope you enjoyed all the details are in my blog come and have a look subscribe to our my blog uh, using the links over there because i always send information before i send it to other people and before i post it to the group of people that subscribe to it so thank you for watching and a happy crafting bye